everybody. Welcome to our first art lesson on Seesaw. Uh, we're going to be making a robot or an elephant out of junk modelling. I love making things out of junk modelling because you can use up all the things that just go straight in the bin normally. So what I've got is I've got some cans and here they are. I've got some milk cartons. I've got a cereal box. Here you go. I've got this square box or a tea box. These are quite useful. And I've also got some egg boxes. There we go. And a newspaper, very useful. So newspaper. And I've got a bit. This is actually um, the casing for shortcuts pastry, but you could use the casing for um, a tin foil or something like that. So that's useful too. Uh, tape, cellar tape, or masking tape is even better. And I've got a slightly bigger box here as well. So once you've got all your boxes, you're going to have a play around with what you can make out of them. And I'm going to show you how to make a robot first. So we get the two egg boxes like this, and they're going to go down there. Let's put them a bit further away so you can see them. Okay, there we go. Oops, there. And then I'm going to get two cartons like this and put them on the top. And they're going to go like that. It's a good idea to wash them out first because if you, if you do open them up, they're going to be a bit smelly. So just use a bit of masking tape. You might need a grown-up to help you just to peel the tape off and attach it like that. So it's nice and flat either side. There, can you see? So secure those. Maybe four bits. Push it into the corners so it's nice and flush like that. Push it into the corner. And then do the other one. So this is for our robot. And now I'm only going to show you the first stage in this video, in this film. And I'm going to show you the next stage in another one so it's not too long. There we go, so you've got that. Now, get your cereal box, and it's open at this end, and you're gonna slide it over the top. And that's gonna make my robot's legs come together a bit and rock, which is quite fun. It's gonna look quite good. So there we are. And I'm gonna sellotape that on now. I'm gonna sellotape it all around the outside, starting with here. Now you could use sellotape, Instead, you've only got sellotape. Masking tape is easier when it comes to pass the mashing over the top, which we're going to do. So it's maybe got a bit short now, but how less. Go around again. Make sure it's sellotape well at the back, overlapping. So as much tape as you want to on. Make it nice and strong. Take the time, obviously I'm trying to rush a little bit. Now for the head, so we've got the feet, like that, and we've got the legs and the body. Now we want to add a head. So you can have a smaller head like this, or you could have an even smaller head, like this tea box here. Okay, you can have it this way. Um, maybe it's nice to have a neck, maybe I'll have this one. So have a play around with what you've got. I think we can have this one. This time we're going to use sellotape, just to show that you can. Of course, I can't find the end. I'm going to put it over the top like that. I'm going to rest it on its body. Now again, you might need some adult help attaching things. It helps have a spare set of hands. And then you're going to do your arms later. So that is how to make a robot with his body. Later on, we're going to add some arms after this. So that will be in the next video. The next video is going to, ha going to be how to make the body for an elephant. Okay, so look out for that one. This is how to make a robot 
and next time we're going to make an elephant and then after that I'm going to show you how to use the papier-mâché to make the skin of the elephant or the robot. All right, see you later. Good luck.